Hi friends, this is Ramya from Wild Turmeric. In this video, I am going to share all the different methods of unwanted hair removal using natural methods. I have shared all the pros and cons, how to use them and the ones that are backed by research. You will be surprised to know that there is even a very popular hair removal method that can be quite dangerous. Get to know these methods fully and then choose the method you like. Generally, these remedies are used along with instant hair removal methods. For instance, if we remove the hair using an epilator, we can apply these packs weekly thrice to reduce the facial hair growth. Over time, the hair growth will slowly reduce and the time it takes to use the epilator again will increase. The results of these methods are permanent, but we have to use them for long durations of time to see results. The time it takes will vary from person to person depending upon the coarseness of their hair. The first method is alum paste, got by rubbing an alum block in a stone with rose water. Alum is called fitkari in Hindi. The alum I am referring here is potassium alum. Though I couldn't find any study to support this claim, it is one of the most popular home remedies for removing unwanted hair. To use, apply the paste, wait for it to almost dry, rub gently and wash it off. Alum has antiseptic and astringent properties and has been commonly used after shaving to reduce bacterial infection and bleeding due to minor cuts that happen during shaving and also as a deodorant for years. So its safety is well established. But alum can be quite drying on the skin. So always use a moisturizer after using alum. Please avoid using alum for children and also avoid this remedy if you are pregnant or have very sensitive skin. The next is Nadgras, popularly called Nagarmota in Hindi. It is called Korekilanga in Tamil. Traditionally, the powder is mixed with water and either white turmeric powder like I have used here or regular turmeric powder and applied as a pack. Once it is almost dry, gently scrub using a little bit of water and wash it off. I found a study supporting this traditional method. The essential oil of Nagarmota has been proven to be as effective as laser for decreasing unwanted hair growth. I leave the link to the study in the description box below. To make this remedy more effective, after using the pack, Mix few drops of Nagarmotha essential oil with a base oil of your choice and massage the skin. There are no side effects to using this remedy. Along with removing unwanted hair, Nagarmotha and white turmeric help treat various skin problems. So I would highly suggest this pack. Next is Indian nettle, whose botanical name is Akalifa indica. This plant is commonly found everywhere. It is popularly called Kupemeni in Tamil. Kupemeni mixed with turmeric is a very popular remedy for unwanted hair removal in a place. Though I couldn't find any study to support this claim, I have seen lot of people successfully use it along with other instant hair removal methods to reduce facial hair growth. Regarding using turmeric for hair removal, I could only find a study using curcuma aeruginosa a plant in the same family is turmeric. In the study, curcuma aeruginosa oil helped reduce unwanted hair growth. To use, take a bunch of fresh kupemini leaves or a tablespoon of kupemini powder in a bowl. Add in a teaspoon of turmeric powder and two teaspoons of gram flour. Add a little bit of water and grind to a smooth paste. To use, like the previous two remedies, apply, wait for it to almost dry and then wash it off. Both copaimene and turmeric have antibacterial properties, so they help treat skin problems like acne too. This is a very safe remedy for everyone. Arsenic Sulphide, popularly called Ponnadaram in Tamil and Hatal Vake in Hindi, is a popular remedy for removing unwanted hair. 
the golden yellow powder is generally mixed with turmeric powder and water i would highly suggest not using arsenic based products on the skin as regular use can cause serious side effects many of us think external applications will not cause any toxicity unfortunately it is not true a 24 year old man died of arsenic poisoning after using an ointment containing arsenic sulfide for 18 days so please don't use this remedy the final remedy is using licorice and fennel seeds for the remedy take a licorice root in a mortar and pestle and pound to break it add in a teaspoon of fennel seeds and crush coarsely add them to a pot along with little water and boil till the water reduces in half strain now take a tablespoon of aloe vera gel that is free of color and perfume in a bowl add 2 teaspoons of the prepared water mix well to get a smooth gel both fennel and licorice have antiandrogenic properties and have been proven through clinical research to be effective in unwanted hair removal If you're doing laser hair removal, you can use this gel along with it to make the therapy more effective. If you're experiencing extensive facial hair growth because of PCOS, these remedies will help. Green tea has been proven to help reduce facial hair growth for women suffering from PCOS. Next is licorice extract. Like green tea, internal consumption of licorice also has been proven to help. But regular licorice should not be consumed for long durations of time, as it contains glycerin, which can cause serious side effects. Now we get licorice extract that does not contain glycerin, but I would highly suggest you take it only after consulting with your doctor. The final remedy is turmeric tea. Curcumin has been proven to help women with PCOS. If you're taking turmeric tea, take it along with black pepper to increase the bioavailability of curcumin.